Hey guys, Kakos197 again. This time the review of the 144 scale high grade Universal Century Unicorn Gundam Destroy Mode. Titanium finished version from the Gundam Unicorn OVA series. Let's immediately start with getting the main feature of this model kit out of the way, the titanium finish. It looks absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely one of the, well, the best looking kits I've got ever. Sure, of course got one big problem, the one problem that affects all kits that weren't originally plated kits, the nub marks. They will be visible, but for some reason I don't think they're all that obvious. I guess it's kind of the titanium finish that distracts your view, but they're still there. It's unfortunate, but like I said, it still looks absolutely stunning. Uh, so for colors, of course get mainly white, get dark blue for the bottom of the feet, the backpack, and got gunmetal gray for most of the joints, the hands and the weapons, well the weapon, and of course we have amazing clear pink for the psycho frame. And it's just like the icing on the cake, it looks absolutely fantastic, especially with this very very nice titanium finish. And I really hope my camera can pick this up and does it justice because it looks fantastic. I cannot stress that enough. And finally, the runners are red with this model instead of the standard gray. So once again, a really nice touch. I guess we can call this the cherry on top of this cake. Um, oh yeah, now onto stickers. You don't get a lot, you just get the ones for the eyes, you get a nice metallic green one uh, for the scope, then you get another metallic green one uh, for the scope of the gun here, and then also get white ones uh, for the top bits here and of course on the other side as well. So, so far so good. Unfortunately things get a little bit less good when we get to the articulation. The head, um, the neck itself is on a hinge and then the head is on a ball joint so it goes up really nicely like so, down like that, head will of course turn around all the way and then wiggle around and do everything a ball joint does. The arms, a little bit forwards and backwards, go up about that far, and then the arm itself moves out quite nicely like so, then we'll turn around below the shoulder. The elbow is unfortunately just on one joint but you do get a little bit more than 90 degrees and it moves backwards almost as much. One problem I have with the elbow is the bottom arm is a bit on the loose side and seems to fiddle around a little bit. Uh, it's a bit annoying when you're trying to move the arm around but it's nothing too bad. And then the hand is on a ball joint, will wiggle around, turn around and do everything a ball joint does. Then the waist, some really nice articulation there, goes a little bit forwards and backwards and will also turn around all the way if the front skirts there don't get in the way. Talking about the front skirts, they are molded together but they can be separated and are on ball joints. The legs go out really far, like so. Back, not quite as much, but it's still a decent movement range. Then they go out nicely, like so. And you also have a little joint here that will allow them to go a bit forwards and backwards, like so. And of course you also have a hole here for an action base. Let's pull that back in. And then the most disappointing part of this kit is unfortunately the knee joint. One joint only, well technically it's two joints but one joint moves about this far. And as you can see you get a 90 degree bend. Fortunately there are tutorials on YouTube that tell you how to make this a lot better and give you a, instead of a 90 degree bend a 180 degree bend. Not sure why Ben I couldn't just do that but hey you do have the option if you're a bit willing to modify it to get a lot more. Then onto the feet, this little flap here goes up and down, then the feet themselves are just like um, the head, 
on a double joint you have a hinge on top and a ball joint at the bottom so they go forward nice like so backwards like that until they hit this piece of the psycho frame and then side to side and we'll also rotate around all the way so like I said articulation isn't quite as good as it looks at this model it's still okay it's just nothing exceptional like what you'd expect from the main mobile suit on to something better now the accessories but unfortunately let's start with a little bit of a downer the beam sabers starting off as you can see there's only one beam saber on here and that is because the beam sabers are mounted on very, very tiny, tiny little pegs. And something I like to do is grab the beam saber like so. Take my advice, don't try to do it or you will rip the peg off. Trust me, I did it. Which is why I'll probably have to glue it after this review is over. Uh, more bad news you don't get any clear pink beam saber blades. You get an entire pink uh, psycho frame, but you don't get the beam saber blades. Guess you have to cheap out on us some way. But let's talk a little bit more about these little beam sabers. First thing you'll notice is they have a little groove in here, but unlike what you might expect, the hands unfortunately do not have pegs to hold them. And it seems like they are not quite a great fit as you can see it just fell through and that's probably going to be even worse when you put a beam in there so that's not all that great quite unfortunately when well, that that's upside down but you're kind of getting the point right if you're lucky it will stick a little bit but yeah just holding it like this not gonna happen but we have the ones on his lower arms and they do look pretty damn good because of course if you're going to use beam sabers these will be the ones and uh, yeah look really nice do their job the one well kind of little problem i have is this is just plastic rub against plastic no poly caps so don't try to do it too much because they're probably going to wear out but then again it would have been pretty much impossible to do that with a poly cap in this size so overall, beam sabers could have been better, but not too bad. So let's get to the really great accessories now, starting with the beam rifle. Comes with an extra trigger finger hand, holds really nicely. Put it in there. And as you can see, no problems at all. Holds really well, really nice natural pose. Also, has a little extra handle there so that he can hold it with both hands and he can do that just fine and of course he can't just hold it you can also store the beam rifle first of all you can store it on its back and then you have a little extra clip here and on the other side as you can see you have a few grooves here so that's easy to pull out attention to detail so you can mount it on there like that but then you also have a little peg here so you could also mount it like this if you prefer it that way but that's not all you have the grooves here and you can also store the beam rifle on there if you'd want to and of course the other peg also works so you could make him um, quite well armed if you buy a few of these guys but let's put it back in his hand where it belongs of course and go on with the shield looks really nice once again the clear pink really makes this shine looks fantastic and as a little thingy here once again the grooves on the arm just clicks in there and it's really really secure it's not gonna fall out you heard that click this shield isn't going anywhere except it is right now we're gonna peg it out grab this little peg which is here and just put it in there and then you can store it on the back 
because of course when this is in place the beam savers can't really be deployed and that's still not all you do get one more little accessory get some extra ammo clips for the beam rifle because of course with every shot one of these little packs is consumed unfortunately whoops, when i flip it around it's a little bit on the hollow side and that is because this is of course not supposed to be used with the beam rifle itself it's just for decoration let's pull the shield off as you can see there are two holes on his um, butt thrust uh, butt thrusters and that's where these ammo packs go on just put it on there just be a bit careful because these um, butt thrusters can be a pain in the ass because of course when you're trying to pose him you'll usually hold him something like this and then it's very easy to push a bit too hard and then the thrusters will go down so yeah just be a little bit careful as always the inevitable question is do you want to buy this and i'll be completely honest about the model itself it leaves somewhat to be desired especially for the model of a main mobile suit i would expect it to be a little bit better there are just a few little complaints about this guy such as the knees uh, the beam savers so it's a bit rough around the edges but what definitely puts this mobile suit over the top is the titanium finish i've already said it and i'll say it again it looks absolutely gorgeous definitely one of the best looking titanium finishes ever no doubt about it but once again as always you have one big problem with a titanium finish mobile suit the price well i guess that's big problem number two so yeah the price and uh, this guy retails for 4200 yen which means that it's more than twice as expensive as the original kit which retails for 1800 yen so do you want to pay that kind of money for a high grade universal century even if it has a superb finish for me i say definitely yes it's a big mobile suit it looks fantastic has a really nice finish to it and it's definitely an attention grabber on any shelf so yeah but that is the main question about this do you think it's justified to pay 4200 yen for this if you're like me if you think it's worth it definitely pick this up and you will not regret it a few comparisons here you have two other plated mobile suits the hyaku shiki and the gundam mark ii and as you can see this is quite a big mobile suit let's compare them with the delta plus his um bff As you can see, size difference is still pretty big, even though the Delta Plus itself is quite a big mobile suit. And finally, let's really show off the size of this beast. Here we have the 1144 scale Victory Gundam. Yes, these two are the same scale. They're both Gundams from the same universe. Only this guy is a little bit younger this guy's a bit older but yeah same universe a few years later well quite a few years um yeah i absolutely love this and here we have the 1 100 scale heavy gun he's almost the same size as a 1 100 scale fantastic so yeah like i said this is definitely an attention grabber and I'm gonna say it for the last time, it's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Well, that's all for this splendid review of this superb looking mobile suit. And see you at the next one.